up everybody and welcome back to my channel i'm taylor b beauty and this video is long overdue back in october i was invited to well back in J july i was invited to the ipsy live beauty convention so if you've been following my channel for a while then you know that i've been going to the generation beauties that have been in new york i went to two of them and I was invited both times by Ipsy. So they've decided to kind of rebrand and regroup basically. And they've now titled their beauty conventions Ipsy Live. I was blessed enough to be invited to the Creator Day and the Ipsy Live preview night. As well as the actual convention on Saturday and on Sunday. So... Friday's event was Creator Day and Ipsy Live Preview Night. So it was only people who were creators and, you know, wanted to preview Ipsy Live. So I was invited. They were selling tickets. Also, there was a whole bunch of people there. It was a really nice experience, but it was very poorly organized. So I do believe that they meant well when they intended on the event but it was not really greatly executed so i'm going to go into further detail and i also am going to show you some of the items that i am giving away to three hugely lucky winners okay if you are interested in seeing what i have to talk about some footage from the event my giveaway and all of that good stuff please stay tuned please be sure to click the bell notification to be up updated every time that I upload please be sure to like share comment subscribe all of that good stuff and without further ado let's jump right into the video so let me set the scene for you it is Friday October 11th and the event started at four I believe four or three or four and it was supposed to go I think it was supposed to be four to nine and it ended up actually being four to eight so what it was supposed to be was I think four to six was creator day and six to nine was supposed to be ipsy preview night so the way they had it set up was it was two floors in a big convention center kind of not the convention center in new york it was actually called center 415 and it was just a really big location and you were able to walk in get your um wristband so when i walked in they asked me my name and they gave me like a random wristband and I felt that some of the Ipsy creator, I mean Ipsy employees were a little bit rude. Um, or not Ipsy, but like the, the people working there. So like Ipsy live um, workers were a little bit rude. So this one girl, she gave me the wristband and I was able to walk in and you were able to create your own Ipsy glam bag. So it was a big like 15 items and you could pick five and make your own glam bag. So when I was standing in line, this girl like looked at my wrist kind of like funky and was like what is this and I was like I don't know this is the wristband that they just gave me five minutes ago when I walked in the door so she's like what's your name and I was like well Taylor you know blah 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 she's like okay hold on so she goes over there she gives me a different wristband that says VIP on it so basically now I had three wristbands I had one that said I was over the age of 21 I had the VIP one that she just gave me and I had like a bronze colored one um also so I'm walking through whatever they got different things at this point I walked in it was around 5 45 maybe and I walk in they have drinks and hors d'oeuvres and stuff like that upstairs they've got um all this different stuff and because you were able to go to this you were able to get a huge glam bag so I will insert a video or a picture of the glam bag and the stuff that they gave me and you were also able to walk around and get free stuff at the different booths. So it was like previewing what would be happening tomorrow without the large group of people around you that aren't creators. So you were able to network, you were able to watch panels during Creator Day, you were able to do all that stuff. I did not actually see Creator Day because I did not know that it was time frames, basically. So I thought that one area was going to be like the panels. I thought that one area was going to be Ipsy. Um, preview night I thought that it was going to be different stuff going on 
simultaneously and that was not the case and that was not explained so around 7 30 on the loudspeaker they said hello um you have 30 minutes left please get in line to get your big glam bag and when you get your big glam bag you have to then exit the premises so you can't walk around with it you can't continue to look at other stuff so you have to get in and get out so at this point i get in line and i had made friends with this girl named tiffany she's really cool love her and um they're like, have your blue tickets out. And I didn't have a blue ticket. Um, I didn't have a blue ticket. I said, what are you talking about? The people behind me said, if you didn't get here by 5.30, you didn't get a blue ticket, and you don't get a big glam bag. And that is kind of like the incentive to come to this type of stuff. Like the cocktail party, the creator day, the Ipsy Live. It's kind of like, oh, you know, at the end of all this fun stuff, I get a big glam bag. And it did not have that anywhere in the fine print that you were going to that you had to be there by a certain time to get it so I'm like what the f you know like I had no idea so I was just kind of like sad and bummed out that I was not going to be able to get a glam bag um but I ended up talking to somebody and they ended up giving me one so I was able to get one thank goodness thank the lord um I was able to get one but I heard that there were Many, many, many people, over half of the people who went were not able to get a glam bag. And on top of that, even though it was, even though a lot of people were invited, there were people who spent $300 to get into this event and get a bag at the end, basically. And they also weren't able to get it. Not everyone knew that you had to get there. Even if you bought your ticket, you didn't know that you had to be there by 530 to get the blue ticket to get the blue bag and then on top of that after everything was said and done there were bags left over and people who did not have a bag and they refused to give the bags to these people so I felt like that was really effed up basically and I felt that it was sad because people came from all over people flew in from Canada people flew in from LA people flew in from um philly shit i'm coming from pittsburgh like i didn't just come walk down the street to go to new york city like i flew in from pittsburgh and you know there was no talk of being there before 5 30 and i felt like that was really crazy so that was pretty crazy i was able to get a bag thank goodness though and that is one of some of the stuff i'm giving back to you guys and i was also invited on saturday so i went on saturday and that was a bunch of different panels so i was able to meet sierra and lala and yolanda frederick which is their makeup artist so i watched the panel and i'll insert some footage from that because that was a really cool panel they talked about inner confidence and beauty and being true to yourself and all of that stuff and i really thought it was great like a great panel to listen to and i recorded a lot of it so i will insert some of that footage um right here we have lala first lala come on up hello lala i just got the two or like a male contour you're into. Caesar. I know Zach's the king of like putting the rhinestones on his face. I'm like, where's Caesar? Because Caesar knows all the tricks. Caesar knows all the tricks. If you guys look on Caesar's Instagram, I mean, every photo is a moment. He's every like, photo. he's got the whole thing. Down. He's the king of makeup. There you go. Yeah, there's Caesar. There he is. How handsome is he? Round of applause again. Yeah. Y'all learned a lot earlier. Exactly. Now shout out to the boys. And also I want to shout out to the dads who support the boys. That's a big one for me. I speak at fashion schools all the time and I make the dads stand up in the crowd for showing up to help their sons learn something creative and go to fashion school. I love that. I even made my dad walk the runway once. And <laughs> he wasn't great at it, but I love you anyway. That's so cute. <laughs> yeah, but there's, you, often you're in the space where it's very, it's very um, female-centric. Yeah. And a lot of times there's a lot of boys out there. You're probably watching on Instagram right now and you're wishing you could be here. You could be here. We will figure out a way. Well, that's the cool thing about Ipsy is Ipsy is about self, you know? That actually is the meaning, uh, Ipsy is the meaning for the word self. Um, and so that's what's really cool, you know, it's about embracing yourself and in inclusivity and 
um, you know, everyone you have and celebrating their own uniqueness. And so that's what's really awesome. And, and what's exciting about today is seeing all of you faces in the crowd that have come from many different places from all over the world. You know, different races, different cultures, different ethnic, ethnicities. So that's what Ipsy's about, and so it's exciting. It's so good. I love even how Rihanna's embracing all of her makeup line. That girl goes to London, and you're like, what's she doing over there? Why is she hiding out? And she just brings the world such beauty and grace. And I see so much of that here she's with amazing. our girls. And she's amazing. She, she's a boss lady. She is a boss lady. So are you, <laughs> So are you, baby. It is. How about we make, yesterday was National Coming Out Day. Today's National Theater Day. And maybe we have all out Sunday tomorrow. We'll, we'll take that one from Kanye. Sorry, Kanye. I know you have Sunday for a minute, but now all else have to not. <laughs> um, now, Sierra, you did the video with Justin Timberlake. Where you were all uh, in there, and you were looking flawless. Was that you, Lily? You're late. You did that. Um, so you're in there, and you're looking good. But I've been on the music video shoot, and sometimes it might look good, but you need a little lift, a ringy moment. Yeah. What's your favorite? What's your favorite way to make it smell as pretty as it looks? Um, I actually love uh, chewing gum gum quickly. Uh -huh. That's a good one. The quickie. I love quick experiment chew and then get rid of the gum. I mean, Lala, you've interviewed everybody under the moon. Oh, what? And when, and I, well, I, I love. I read those things. Because <laughs> I use an alcohol to it when necessary. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, see, I got it out of her. She uses Altoids, guys. No, because when you get your glam done. As needed. Everybody's makeup artist keeps their favorite little breath mix hidden in there. I'm gonna oh, hold no. my breath when I feel like my breath is not good. <laughs> Are you out of like this? When I go close, when I go in like this, I'm holding my breath. <laughs> or, or you be talking to someone like, yeah. <laughs> Wait, like five feet back. Yeah, that's your saying. <laughs> they come close and you be like, why? <laughs> Start moving. <laughs> um, I know, Sierra, we like to vacation in the same place in Mexico. Where do we where do we like to get away, Lala? Where do you like to go? When when things are getting a little crazy. I mean, I, I'm I'm a big fan of the Bahamas, and definitely the Bahamas is rebuilding now from you know yeah. everything that's happened there. But it's close enough to New York that you don't have to be on a plane forever, but you feel like you got away. So that's always a quick you know little trip when you just want to get away. I love stopping by the gift shop when you get there too. You're like, I'm gonna dress like a little. So I was able to walk around a little bit, get a few things. Um, I bought a t-shirt and I bought a hat. I am keeping the t-shirt, but I bought the hat and I'm going to put it in one of the giveaway prizes. Um, and that's pretty much it. I would love to go again next year, but I want to know that it is a little bit more organized and whatnot. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into the giveaway. So, boop, 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 boop. the giveaway, there's going to be three winners and each winner is going to get over 25 items. So, I'm going to go over the giveaway rules. So, <clears throat> um, last year I did a giveaway. It's going to be very, very similar to that one. May the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> okay, so the Ipsy giveaway rules. In order to be entered into this giveaway, you must be subscribed to my channel. I will be checking. You must be following me on Instagram. I will leave my name right here. It is Taylor B Beauty. I also will be checking. Your page has to be open, by the way. Um, on my IG post, I will post when this video goes live, I will post a picture on Instagram and you have to find that post, like that post, and comment on that post one way that you like to practice self-care. So, Ipsy is all about self-care and taking care of yourself and being beautiful, wearing makeup, not wearing makeup, being confident in what you have to give to others and have to give to yourself. So. I like to practice self-care by doing a face mask. So I want you to comment and like on that Instagram post one way that you like to practice self-care. And then on this video, I want you 
to comment down below your Instagram name that you used to comment on my Instagram post. And I want you to comment which prize you want to win. One, two, or three. Okay? And I will choose three winners. So that winner will be chosen on Black Friday. Okay? Without further ado, I'm going to show you some of the prizes. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to go over everything that's in the prizes. I'm just going to show you three big items so that you know which prize you want to win. And everything else is kind of be like a surprise, but everything has pretty much the same type of stuff in it. I really picked out stuff that I really wanted you guys to try out and enjoy. So, the first item, I mean the first bag, has a bunch of stuff in it. And each prize will have, will be wrapped in a cute little box and stuff like that. So this is just crazy right now, but I will be putting it in better presentation for you. So the first prize, in the first prize, there's going to be an Ofra Vitamin C Cleanser, Foaming Cleanser. There's going to be a Mata Prismatic Brush Set. And there's going to be a Meat Matt Hughes Balm Lipstick Set. This is a big bag of stuff in here but those were just three items so that's the first prize the second prize is a big bag of stuff right here this will have the ipsy hat in it this is the brand new ipsy hat with a lip and a lipstick on it that's one prize the next prize is the pure be yourself eyeshadow palette or be your selfie eyeshadow palette and it has these shadows in it and this also has the derma e vitamin c concentrated serum concentrated serum so there's a bunch of stuff in here but those were three items so this is prize number two and prize number three is right here and it's got the Color Pop Rendezvous Palette. It has a Mata Foundation Brush. And it has the Ma Mama Monday <laughs> Ma Mama Monday Calming Hydro Sleeping Mask. So, like I said, this has big items in it as well. But those are the three items. So this is prize number three. Okay, guys, so that is it. I will be posting that post when this video goes live, and you will have two weeks to enter. You have two weeks to enter. The giveaway will still end on Friday, Black Friday, but you will have two weeks to enter. So be sure to follow those instructions. I will have the giveaway rules listed down below. All of that good stuff. I'll have the giveaway rules on my Instagram, but don't forget you must be following me here, follow me there, like and comment, like and comment. Okay, I love you guys so so much. Please be sure to comment, like, share, subscribe, click the bell notification, all of that good stuff. I love you guys so so much, and please stay tuned until my next video.